Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thanks for joining me for voting video number 396 in the Incredible Mandela Effect voting video series here on the Moneybag73 channel. This one is big, everybody. Get ready. Hold on to your bootstraps and sit down. Set your drink to the side. This one's going to really get you. I know it is. This is such a huge change for me. I know this song very well. I can't emphasize enough what a big change this is. I'm just kidding. All right, I'm just kidding. All right. All right, here we go. Ready? The Cardigans Love Fool. Get ready for this. I know most of you know this song. 1996. Here we go. I can't care about. She has a little accent, so. But she's saying, I can't care about anyone, anything but you. That was never what it was for me. That sounds so foreign to me. I know this song, and it sounds so foreign. I can't care about... No, it was I... Here. Here's what it is. Tell me how this sounds. This woman puts kind of a different twist on the song, but it doesn't matter. Listen to what she says. Say that you need me. I don't care about it. I don't care about anything but you, but it says I can't care right here on the screen. That's really odd. I, I don't think this is closed caption. Someone must have put this in the video. I don't know, but that's some of the oddities you get with the Mandela effect. You see a lot of that when you start researching this stuff. What does this woman remember? I don't care about anything but you. That's right, 100% for me, 100%. Thumb this video up. If you recall, I don't care about anything but you. If it's always been, I can't care about anything but you, thumb up the top comment, which is a thumb down for my videos. Don't be afraid to, well, don't be afraid to thumb down my videos. It doesn't matter as much anymore. They took down a thumb down count, which I think is pretty ridiculous, but they're trying to protect a few people. So rather than, you know, Going along with what most people would like, just protect a few people, and so we'll just take away the count on the thumb down. So, thumb up the top comment. If it's always been can't for you, if if this is what you always remember, please thumb up the top comment. I can't care about. I can't care about. It's just, just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, the Mandela effect just never fails to amaze. I love the Mandela effect. Unlike other people I know who hate the Mandela effect. I don't hate it at all. It's made life so much more interesting, makes me feel closer to my creator, not further away. The Mandela effect is just so amazing and it doesn't stop. It just does not stop. Uh, let's, let's finish this up here. And then if you stick around to the end, I'll tell you where I've been, what I've been doing, if you happen to care about that. Music to my ears, no pun intended. <laughs> oh, that's the way I always remember. Even this guy has got kind of a weird rendition here. But he even says, I don't care about anything but you. So I'll leave you with this here. Dejame, dejame, leave me, leave me. Solo di que me necesitas. Just say that you need me. And then we go on. Well, here, I'll just go ahead and play it. So here we go with the I can't care about anything but you. No me importa means it's not important to me. But that's how you say I don't care in Spanish. It's not important to me. I don't care about nada mas, nothing more than you. But I asked my wife, who's, you know, fluent in Spanish. She's from Peru. And she says, I said, how would you say I can't care about anything but you? And she said, no me importa. She's, she's like saying it would be the same way. And then she started saying, I can't care about anything with you doesn't make any sense in Spanish. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense in English either. But that's what she's saying. I can't care about anything but you. It's, it was never that. I'm sorry. It just it sounds so foreign to me. So anyway, whoever translated this, no me importa nada más que tú is I don't care about anything but you. If you were going to literally translate it, it would be no puedo importarme de nada más. I couldn't 
care about. I couldn't. No, so anyway, enough with that. So for those of you who are still with me, I'm sorry that I haven't been around lately. I've been wanting to make videos. I've just been extremely busy. I've been working on selling some stuff that I've had for a long time on eBay. So I'm finally selling those things from back when I worked for the Oakland A's. I had like 30, 30 bats, game use bats and stuff. I had a lot of stuff. So I've been working on every day, working on an eBay store. So I've had a whole bunch of stuff. I've been working on that. I've also went to Alabama. I was looking at houses in Huntsville. Uh, it's about time to get from underneath the banks and get from underneath this interest, this $900 of interest that I pay every month out the window. I'm tired of paying that. So I'm going to try and get a house for cash and I, I can't do it here in Phoenix. So I'm selling the house here in Phoenix. I'm heading to the south. Uh, it was going to be Huntsville area. Believe it or not, Huntsville was named number one place to live in 2022. The most afford, not wasn't the most affordable. It was the most uh, livable city in the U.S. in 2022. So I went there. My brother lives in the in the middle of the state, and we got to get together for the first time in 15 years, which was really cool. Um, he hasn't done much traveling, and I haven't made it there. Really a shame we haven't seen each other, but. I finally saw him. That was really good. Um, and so it didn't quite work out. I can't quite get what I want for cash in the Huntsville area. So I, to, I was going to go tomorrow to Arkansas, but I think it's going to be Saturday, hopefully. And my wife can't make this trip. So me and my son are going to head off to Little Rock, where I think I can find what I want. So anyone who has anything to say about Little Rock, go ahead and throw it at me. Positive, negative. Um, I really want to get a house for cash. I can't do it here. Certainly can't do it in California where I'm from. I don't think I'll ever be going back to California. It's just not for me. I spent the first half of my life there and I'm done with it for various reasons, but it's one of the most expensive places to live, but, uh, certainly won't be buying a house for cash there. But anyway, that's it. That's where I've been. I'll be trying to make more videos. There was, a. Uh, a British international internet-based market research and data analytics firm headquartered in the UK that took on the Mandela Effect. So I want to do a video on that. Hopefully I'll find time, maybe tomorrow, since I'm not leaving until Saturday, I think, to go to Little Rock. And so I'll try to make a video on that. It's kind of interesting, their findings, and I think we'll have more companies Looking at this, more scientific studies, or need to be. This is an incredible phenomenon that's not going away. And since the Chicago-based scientific study that found out that the Mandela effect was real, like we didn't know that all along. I mean, I'm sorry. Even saying that it's real sounds ridiculous because it's obviously real that there's large groups of people with alternative memories to reality. But when people, the average Joe says it's real. It's mean that there's something unexplainable happening, which we already know that anyway. But anyway, finally, we have more people looking at it and taking it seriously because, you know, people hear Berenstein Bears and, uh, you know, Kit Kat with no dash or something, and then, then they hear parallel universes, and that's a huge leap. I mean, who's going to make that leap after hearing a couple little changes? Oh, well, people get things wrong, so... You know, they just assume that people are making mistakes. And well, Anyway, I'll let you go. There's some funny things about the study, so I'll try to do another video. Hope everyone's doing fine. Go create the reality that you want. I'm working on it over here. Talk to you all soon.